everyone. Happy Sunday. What's going on? Beautiful day out. We got a temperature break. And uh, so yeah, let me welcome my new subscribers. Thanks guys for signing on the channel. If you don't know already, it's about building this Boss 302 NA. This is a long build and I don't pop videos out if you noticed daily. I try and get something out weekly. I call this my slow build. Uh, I'm super busy. So we just got off a of family vacation. That was great. Daughter was in town visiting. Grandchildren were here. So, you know, of course we didn't get any videos done. Um, I got little David though, as I said, check that video out. He's my biggest fan, my grandson. So that's really cool. But anyways, we do have a calmer stage three on this car. And again, full bolt on. Go to my Instagram page, Coyote North. And check out my list because like I said, there's too much to list, too much for me to remember. I don't think you want to hear me go through the list, but if you're curious to see what's on the car, go there, check it out. Today's video, we're going to be mounting up our new Mickey Thompson ET fronts. Um, we're going to weigh them against our Nittos and our Forge Star uh, 20 by 9s. They lead to 255, 35, 20 front tire. We're going to weigh the comparison so you guys can see that. Um, we're gonna get an idea of how much weight we're dropping off this car now we did a bunch of videos way early on weighing the dry shaft weighing the uh, control arms the uh, flywheel pretty much everything I could weigh I weighed weighed the rear tires against what was on there before you know again these are 12 pounds lighter than where we were at um, these I'm anticipating about 22 pounds lighter so we're gonna take I think over 60 pounds off the car just by changing the wheels. Um, the weight of the car, when we weighed it with the muffler delete, it was 35.60. Um, then we did a bunch of shaving, but we ended up putting the GT500 mufflers back on. Those weigh 18 pounds each. That's a boat load, so we put 36 pounds back on the car. I'm not sure where we're at right now. Eventually, we'll change those mufflers for a lighter package, if you will. But uh, once we get everything on, we will uh, get away to the car. We'll share that, and then, um, yeah, we'll get going. So I noticed American Muscle um, stopped carrying these race star wheels. I'm not sure why, but... Um, I'm having some issues. I've had these since December 2019. And the only reason why I haven't mounted them is because they don't match the rear. These are much shinier, brighter, and in their box, they say there's a huge difference. There is, and now I'm reading vibration issues on these things. Hopefully we don't have that. The other thing I just ran into, one of my uh, taps for the, uh, cover wasn't fully tapped so I can't get the screw on so fortunately I do have a tap kit it's a quarter inch by 28 size by the way we're gonna get that tapped out I'll show you what that looks like and then um, we'll get these on mounted let you see the car and then like I said uh, we'll get a car weight so um, let's get over check out this side all right these are the fronts and you can see if you get into here, this is not tapped all the way out. You can see this is fully tapped, fully tapped, fully tapped. This one, for whatever reason, I don't know how that happens, but the outer part is not tapped at all. So I cannot get the screw in. We're going to run a tap in there. Like I said, it's quarter by 28. And uh, fortunately, I have a little tap kit. I do have a, a, a certain amount of tools in my garage just from the past so this is an old tap kit from Sears Craftsman um, we're gonna get that in there we're gonna get it tapped and uh, we'll let you check that real quick but uh, as far as the quality of these wheels honestly in my opinion they're junk they really are they're junk um, I'm only using them because I bought got a great price on them and a Black Friday deal and uh, I have them, I'm not spending any more money. We'll use them. If uh, we have some vibration issues, then that's gonna be another story, but hopefully that's not the case. While we're on the subject though, squirrel, just call me squirrel. <laughs> if I cannot get these 17s to work, we're gonna set up some 15s on these. 
and we'll probably go with a 15 by 8 and let's see if that works without having to move that rear uh, sway bar uh, racket. I have the kit. I don't want to cut on this car because it's original car. I don't want to physically cut on a Boss 302, but if we can get it to work, awesome. If not, we'll go to a 15, 15 by 8 and uh, what we're going to do is I'm kind of excited about that because if we do that, it's gonna be a cool look. I'm not gonna tell you what it is though. So let's check this out. So the most difficult part about this is just getting this straight, so. I'm gonna apply pressure and rotate. And this is not a good thing to do with a camera in hand, so. We're going to take the camera out, we'll bring the other camera over, and then uh, we'll get it rolling again. Before we get these on the scale, these are 27 inch tall, so we are pretty damn close to our tire. I think 28 would have been too tall, I didn't want to raise the front of my car up, 26 would have been too short. So these looks like they're going to go on there perfect as far as height. Now you want to run 45, 50 pounds. I think it was max pressure in these was 50 pounds. So anyways, we want to show you the height on a 27 inch. All right, we have them on our park tool. If you're wondering what this stand is. I build mountain bikes, I built my own, I do a lot of mountain biking, so that's why I have a scale. Um, these are a little bit lighter than I thought they were, so 56 pounds, 7 ounces for these 20 by 9 Ford Star and 255, 35, 20 Nittle Invo tires. Alright, we got these on. The bungee strap is 5 ounces. So these are coming in 37 pounds, three ounces. So we're close to about 20 pounds. We're actually 19 pounds and some change. So roughly, we've taken off 18.99 pounds, so 19 pounds um, per side. So 19 and 19, 38 pounds. So that's 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 a nice that's a nice uh, reduction in weight. So yeah, there's a little old school action. Um, I like to use those tools just because you get a better feel of things. Impact wrenches can damage. Yes, they're quicker, but there's more risk for uh, having some failures. So um, this black spacer, you gotta make sure it goes on. That's what really helps center the wheel. And then uh, make sure you torque to 100 foot pounds. Those are the specs and the owner's manual. So we'll get the cover on, um, we'll get some shots of the car, then we'll take it out for a drive and then uh, get away. So yeah, they look good, even though they are a different color.
pumped them up to 50 pounds PSI. That is a max, max PSI cold. We're gonna test them. We're also going for our car weight. So we have about a half a tank of gas, a quarter more than what we had last time. So that's gonna be, I don't know, I have to figure out what gas is a gallon. If we equate it to water, which I suspect it's lighter, maybe around six and a half pounds, I'm not sure. So we're probably looking at, uh, there's three and a half gallons roughly. I don't know, 24, 25, 26 pounds, somewhere in that area. Um, we'll just take off. They do follow the road, so again, it is what it is. like 3700 with me in it so we dropped it uh, we dropped 60 pounds it's fluctuating between 3720 3700 so it's going to be around 3500 yep 3500 so we might be 3475 without the gas so that's not bad we're, we're close to 100 pounds we're dropping off this thing So that's going to wrap this video up guys thanks man thanks for watching like and subscribe we're going to get this thing down we're going to see what it's going to do at the track so we're getting there slowly getting there you guys have a great day take care